this time around, the Liberals are facing kind of encroachment on both fronts, from the left and the right. The People's Party of Canada, to what degree does that peel away any support from the Conservatives? Canada, your next government will be a Liberal minority government. Justin Trudeau will hang on as Prime Minister tonight. This was a $600 million cabinet shuffle. This was a short and busy campaign, and unlike any other, uh, leaders were forced to adapt to pandemic restrictions. We know that the pandemic has affected uh, voting, that lines have been long in some parts of the country, uh, that it has not always been clear about where you go for your polling station. And so that has caused some, some minor problems we have heard through the evening as well. People near the front of the line here who I've been speaking to said they've been waiting about an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes, but the lineup when they got here wasn't as long as it is now. Just want to show you just down the street here, that's the start of the line, which means at this point, and it keeps growing, it now is snaking all the way around the entire city block. So it's easy to think that these people just lining up now are going to be here for uh, two hours or more. The People's Party of Canada, to what degree does that peel away any support from the Conservatives? I want to show you some seats in Ontario where they may have saved the Liberals or in the process of saving the Liberals. So we're going to start here in the Kitchener-Cambridge region. Just look at this in Cambridge. The numbers are updating, but right now Brian May is 400 ahead of Connie Cody for the Conservatives. Look at that People Party of Canada number. That is an enormous number when you think about what it potentially took away from the Conservative there. It's a similar thing in one of the neighbouring ridings here in Kitchener South Hespeler. Again, you have the Liberal in first place narrowly with a significant chunk going to the fourth party, People's uh, Party of Canada. And this is happening all over Ontario. If even half of those went to the Conservatives, we'd have a much different map in Ontario and a much different result for the country. People from all parties are coming into the PPC as a protest vote. And there's a lot of people who have never voted before, who have suddenly decided they want to get out and exercise their franchise. Is it majority of Conservative? Perhaps. But you can't extrapolate one for one what's going on with the PPC. Canada, your next government will be a liberal minority government. Justin Trudeau, as we already told you, will hang on as prime minister tonight. The liberals remain in government, but after calling this snap election with the hopes of a different outcome, let's be honest, uh, Justin Trudeau will not get enough seats to form a majority government. And we are returning, basically, to a House of Commons that is close to a standstill to where we left off. Really, for things to change tonight, we needed to see one of two things. We needed to see exponential growth and a big breakthrough in Quebec by the Liberals to get to a majority, or we needed to see that kind of exponential big breakthrough in Ontario for the Conservatives. And really, neither one of those things has happened. Incremental change right across the board. The Conservatives are losing some seats right now to the New Democrats in urban Saskatchewan and urban in Alberta. So those are, are, are losses that the Conservatives are having in their column going to the New Democrats. So it just stops them from catching up to the Liberals even further. Nowhere else in the country did the Conservatives take a tumble like they have in Alberta, down 14 points. Surely some of that is Jason Kenney's <laughs> responsibility. You know, oh, you, can, I, you can imagine that that's what some Conservatives are thinking tonight. There's no doubt. And again, we cannot, you know, you cannot lose the timing of of when that happened yes. with, with Kenny's, I'm sorry, it didn't work so well. Today is, yep. this is when the vaccine passports, although they will not call them that, yep. go into effect. You know that's on people's minds. If you are wondering that there were races that are close and you are wondering at home, you said to yourself, well, I mailed in my ballot. How do you know for sure, given that that ballot isn't being counted until tomorrow, uh, that the result won't be different? The decision desk took all of that into account. We know how many special ballots, how many mail-in ballots were sent in from which riding across the country. There are 68,000 mail-in ballots uh, yet to be counted, and they'll be counted over the next couple of days in Atlanta, Canada alone. That's not going to make a difference in ridings like Fundy Royal. No. But it could very much make the difference in closer ridings uh, like Fredericton. 
They're not being counted until tomorrow is for that very reason, to make sure Precisely. they are valid and make sure they have been cast by the same person, that someone didn't come in in person as well. And I should tell people that when you look at the sort of the top list of uh, where mail, mail-in ballots came from, a, a lot of them were in British Columbia. That That's really where the vast majority of Canadians use those special ballots. Um, but again, it, it, it may make it be a factor in other places. We can uh, give you an update on another federal leader. Annami Paul has been defeated in Toronto Centre. Uh, not just defeated, she came in fourth in the riding of Toronto Centre. This is a very disappointing result for Annami Paul. And as you mentioned, the leadership review questions begin under the Green Party's constitution within six months after a federal election, a leadership review is automatically triggered. We heard from Elizabeth May out in Vancouver Island basically saying like she wants to see a review as to you know why they didn't have a full slate of candidates. So there were questions about Paul's leadership well before this election. Given the results, the disappointing result we have tonight, those calls are going to grow louder. You are sending us back to work with a clear mandate to get Canada through this pandemic and to the brighter days ahead. And my friends, that's exactly what we are ready to do. There are still votes to be counted, but what we've seen tonight is that millions of Canadians have chosen a progressive plan. As Canadians, You've elected parliamentarians to deliver on all this, and our team, our government, is ready.